Good evening, and begin tonight by reviewing two most impacting natural disasters from the previous year, along with the volunteer opportunities and assistance that occurred during these events. Two months prior to New Year, a disastrous wildfire arose in Northern California at 6 a.m. The horrendous fire, officially titled Campfires, spread across an acreage span of 150,336 acres, which led to the destruction of 18,733 structures, with roughly 14,000 being homes. A total of 86 people reported dead. Now, here to inform you of the previous hurricane that devastated the East Coast is our meteorologist in Station 2. Florence made landfall on the eastern coast in September of 2018. Its forceful winds of 130 miles per hour classified it as a Category 4 hurricane. Within just 18 days, Florence destroyed a total of 15,000 homes and killed 19 people in South Carolina. Following the mass destruction of buildings, the floodwaters proceeded to rise, which ended up blocking 1,200 roads in North Carolina. Now, we will hear from Lisa in North Carolina as she stands in the ruins. I'm here on the scene of Hurricane Florence with Kira, a survivor of the horrific event. They told us to evacuate, but we decided to ride it out. I was terrified. My husband, two children, and I were on top of our bed on the second level trying to avoid the rising water. We looked at our window where we normally see our neighbor's houses. There was nothing but muddy water and debris. We weren't sure we'd get out alive. We lost our businesses and homes and even the lives of some of our dearest families and family. Thank you, Kira, for that touching story. Now we'll hear from Aaron back in the studio for ways we as a society can assist people like Kira and her family who were affected. It's so tragic what these poor families are going through with both the California wildfire and Hurricane Florence. It's very difficult to get back on your feet after losing everything. There are many local food and clothing drives to help those who were devastated. There's also websites such as GoFundMe and Change.org that send your donations directly to shelters or those in need of aid. Volunteer groups such as the World Vision Team also reach out to those devastated in the catastrophes. To help clear the debris and pull survivors out of the rubble, first responders and construction committees set out on day one to bravely rescue those who decided to remain in their homes. To help those who were injured, you can donate blood and first aid kits. One of the best things you can do is follow evacuation procedures and encourage others to get to safety. I have just been informed that we are running out of time. Back to you, Chip. Now that we are more educated on the issue and assistance relating to the natural disasters that unfolded last year, we as a society can become better prepared and more proactive when disasters like these occur. See you next on TKA News. This is Chip, signing off.